Hi everybody, this is Edgerjo and welcome to another video in my series on the Raspberry Pi. In this video I want to show you how to start up your Raspberry Pi for the first time after you uh, created an SD card with a Raspberry and Jesse operating system on it, uh, which you will remember from the previous video using Windows to create the image on the disk. So here's my Raspberry Pi and you can see that I've got my SD card uh, installed there. It's an 8 gig SD card and if you can remember from the previous video that um, we only had a I think 36 megabytes free or something like that. So once we start it up I will show you um, the size of the disk and I'll also show you how to expand it to use the whole of the SD card. Um, you can also see that I've got my um, HDMI connector over there. Uh, I actually have a converter because I don't have a, a um, an HD monitor and then I've got my keyboard and mouse plugged in on this side. So I'm going to go ahead and now just use my power cable and um, just switch it on. So just bear with me for a second. Right, so I've uh, switched it on and as you can see it is now running and loading um, for the first time and it's just running and it should theoretically go into a boot up screen. As you can see the Raspberry Pi is still working, you can see the lights flashing over there and um, we're just waiting for it to go into the next screen. It might actually boot in, because it's a Jesse, it might boot into the actual operating system as well, the GUI, the graphical user interface. So we're just waiting for that to go in. As you can see, there's the mouse now coming up. And um, we're just waiting for the rest of the operating system to show. So just bear with me. It says it's a first generation Raspberry Pi. I didn't use the Raspberry Pi 2 for this. Uh, because I want to see, there we go. So now it's coming up, and in a moment you will see the menu at the top as it's going in. Obviously the first generation Raspberry Pi is a little bit slower, it's not the Raspberry Pi 2 which has a quad-core processor. Um, so we'll just give it a few more seconds, there we go. Now the icons are starting to appear, and there we go. So now we have everything so if I can just hold my camera still like that so now you can see my mouse is moving there's my menu and there's all the uh, bits like that and it's like you've got your programming you've got your office packages and things like that so it's all nicely done but if I click on the file manager over there I may not have actually clicked that so let me just try again there we go Right, so I didn't actually click it the previous time. There's no worries, no worries. So as you can see, your free space right down there is only just over half a gig of a total of four gig. Okay, so it writes a four gig um, partition. Is a, I wasn't sure if it was a two or a four gig. So now we know it's a four gig partition that it writes and it's got 595 megabytes free. So in order to make sure that we use all of the uh, available space, I'm just going to open the terminal window, so I'm going to close that over there. I'm going to open the terminal window, and then I'm going to type the command. I'll just zoom in like that. I'm going to say, there we go. So I'm going to say raspi hyphen con config, as you can see right there. And, and then I'm going to run it. And, oh, I'm supposed to be a super user, so sorry. So I'll do sudo raspi-config and then I run it again. So now we get the configuration file, if I just go like that. And you can see the very first option is to expand the file system. So I'm going to go ahead and enter on that one. So I enter that and it's uh, it's saying it's rereading and it, now it says the root partition has been resized and it will be enlarged on the next reboot. So I'm going to say OK and then I'm going to go out of that I'm just pressing the right arrow to get to the bottom. Um, if I go the, the down arrow, I will go like that, but the right or the left arrow will take you um, to the different parts. I'm gonna say finish, and then I'm just going to reboot now. So I'll reboot that, and then the Raspberry Pi theoretically should now reboot, there we go. And I'll just go out slightly so that you can see it's dead easy, dead easy. All you do is you, you put in your SD card, you switch, make sure everything is connected, you switch on the power, uh, you plug in the power cable, 
and you wait for it to load. And what Jess here doesn't go into the command line, it uh, into the root, it goes straight into the graphical user interface. Um, as you will see in a second, it will boot up into um, the actual operating system itself. So um, we'll just wait for that to go through. And then I will show you the um, file manager again. And you should see that we have a lot more space than just the 590 whatever megabytes there was. So now it's going uh, out of the root into the graphical user interface in a moment or two. Hopefully we'll see the mouse. And then the rest of the, there we go, there's the mouse. And then the rest of the operating system will start to appear. There we go, much quicker this time. Now I'm going to just go and click on the file manager again. And this time it will load up much quicker because previous time I misclicked it. And now you will see over there, it's instead of having the 500 and whatever megs free, we actually have 3.6 gigabytes free and have a total of seven gig. Obviously it's an eight gig card that we put in and uh, part of the partition is used for booting up the Raspberry Pi. So that is how you um, install the card. You just literally plug it in, you make sure the cables are connected, and you start it up, and you've got Jesse running, and then um, you just have to run the Raspberry config file, and then you can expand your file system to use all of the SD card. Thank you very much for watching.